three, two, one, go! Oh! Hello and what is going on today guys? Tomcat here and welcome back to GTA 5. Now in this GTA 5 video, we're going to be diving into some of the new cars in the Casino DLC. And as you can see right here, the vehicle that we built in the last episode was sort of a replica of a Shelby Raptor with the new uh, car car of 4x4. And so what we're going to be doing is we're going to actually be driving back to, well, I was going to say we could drive back to a garage or we could probably just have a vehicle called to us all right so after bringing this thing up here to the um to the mechanic whoa or to ls customs rather we've managed to cause several accidents and we've already managed to damage the car pretty badly in the front but that's kind of what you'd expect from something like this i feel like but that, not necessarily expect but oh hell oh god what up Oh my god. Well, this has gone well. Um, does this mean, um, um, does this mean that stuff can ramp off of you in traffic? Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Bruh. Off. Oh my god. I have a car to modify. Out of here. Oh, mental state. Go away. Oh my god. Are you serious? Okay, well, at least we're right here at an LS custom, so really no big deal. All right, let's get this thing repaired, what and let's get it customized. So let's see. Armor, I'm not going to worry about. Brakes, I'm going for full race. Bumpers, we've got front bumpers with the stock. Stock with plastic splitter, and then primary color splitter, and then secondary color splitter, which are about the same, and then carbon splitter. So... Even, wow, the carbon splitter looks almost exactly the same as the plastic splitter. That's kind of funny. We've got everything for the back. But let's see. Oh, it's even, it's like diffuser fins. Oh, that's weird. Like diffuser fin colors. But that's like, again, that's about it. You don't really get much in the way of, um, in the way of bumper customization, though. Exhaust-wise, that's where our options become slightly limited. Um, we've got the dual quad exhausts, which you can barely see. Uh, you've got the gold big bore, carbon big bore, flame-touched exhausts, and angled exhausts, which I kind of actually like the, like, the carbon, the carbon-surrounded stock exhausts a lot. Uh, grill-wise, we've got, let's see, cross grill, cross primary, cr oh, oh god, oh, I don't like that. And then you can do secondary, wow, those are ugly. Those are ugly. I almost like the stock grill the best. Like, the stock grill just looks at home. It just looks right. With the Truffade logo on the front, secondary color vents, carbon vents. Ooh. Oh, man. Ooh, ribbed vents. Oh, that'd be cool. Classic with vents. Oh, man, there's a lot of hood options for this thing. Like, a lot of hood options. A ton. I really like these. I really think that ties in well with the carbon theme in the front end. Like, with the splitter and then, like, the vents themselves. I think that ties in really well. Um, we're, oh god. Definitely putting the xenons on it. And then neon kits, I mean, you could do for 30 grand, which is a lot. But I think we're going to do it anyway. Um, I think we're going to do it anyway. And then we're going to run... I kind of think a red would probably be the best. I mean, if we're sticking with this red theme, I think that would be the best one to do. Now, if we were to change that up, obviously I would go back, but let's see. Ooh, oh man, you've got a lot of livery options. Like, a lot of livery options for this car. A ton. Dude, this thing, you've got a lot of options for what you can do. I kind of like, I kind of like this. Like, I don't know, I just kind of dig it. I, I really want to see what wings we can put on the back, and more importantly, I want to see what wings it will let us put on the back, because I, I, oh god, metal cage. Eh, yeah, I go with the metal cage. Cell, side panels, primary color, carbon, carbon vented. I'm going to do the carbon. There we go. Sports, aggressive, carbon, race. And then the Trophade Spoiler, Big Wing. It's just called Big Wing. Competition Spoiler, GT Spoiler, and The Works Spoiler. Oh, my God. Man, I I wish that, like, 
I wish I was much higher, like a much higher rank on Xbox right now because that thing is freaking crazy. But I kind of like the race spoiler, but actually the the aggressive one looks good without being like it looks like it belongs there without being, you know, kind of overdone and just looking ridiculous. So, let's see. Trim, primary, secondary, carbon. Oh. Oh man. It just changes it from black to carbon. Turbo tuning and wheels. I think I might leave the wheels alone because they look really good. Like, really, really good. The limo tint, I think, suits the car. I think it really suits the car. And now, we can take this thing out and actually see what it's like to drive. And I'm pretty certain that it's going to end up being, like, ridiculous. All right, first drive. I mean, it gets up to speed very fast. Very, very, very fast. But, but, that's not 100% of what we're here to test. Oh, no. Y'all know, y'all know that I love to take vehicles where they don't belong in GTA. That's a big thing for me. And I am going to take it up the side of a mountain because, first of all, why would you not? And secondly... Supercars are great off-road. Why would you not take a supercar off-road? I mean, yeah, you'd be dumb not to. I mean, of course. Right? 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 Oh, my God. Oh, um, that got real real quick. Holy crap. Well, we're in a bit of a situation now. I didn't realize this hill turned into that. But surprisingly enough, our car is still in... Fairly, I say fairly, good shape. Uh, brakes, please. I just want to get up this side of the mountain using the... Oh, my God. Go. Go, 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 go. It's going. I had to, I had to use a zoomed out view because I was like, there's no way I could see what this thing is actually doing up close. Come on. Oh my god, it's getting it though. Come on. Now, supercars in GTA have a reputation for being way better off-road than they should. And this one is no exception because as we can see, plainly and clearly, we should not be where we are right now in this car. This car should not have the ability to get to where it is right now. And I, for one, am... Uh, not really all that surprised. I mean, I was going to say I was a little surprised, but then I thought about it for a second and I was like, am I really though? Am I really surprised about what this thing just did? No, not really. Not at all. And I don't think that y'all should be all that surprised either because it's GTA and for some reason, supercars are really good at climbing the sides of mountains. And that's just a thing, apparently. But now, I want to put this thing where it really shouldn't belong. Uh, or, where, well, where it really doesn't belong and shouldn't be. That's the, that, that's the right way to, to describe that. Hello, hikers. Alrighty, where do we want to jump this thing off of? Down there? Or up here? I feel like I'm down for launching it up here. Well, it's going to be a good one. This is going to be a good one. Whether or not, well, whether or not we survive this and whether or not the car survives this remains to be seen. Let's go in three, two, one, go. Oh my God. Um, ah, um. Oh. Oh my god! Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes! We've survived so far! Oh my god, really? The freaking shrub was like, nah fam, I got you. You're not going anywhere. I was like, man, I didn't want to deal with that. I wanted to like launch this thing into freaking oblivion. And it prevented me from doing that. Ah! Oh my god! Oh my god! Ah! Go, 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 go! Oh! Ah! <laughs> it worked! Oh my god, it worked! Okay, 
since that worked, we have to see if it'll survive the other jump, which throws you into a much more dangerous area. But first, we have to get all the way back up, which is a task in and of itself. So, I'm going to push this thing to limits that it's probably not used, like, used to, uh, or good for. <laughs> Uh, what's the best way to get up this thing? I'm thinking right around that rock on the right. Give a little bit of a jump. I don't think it's going to be able to climb this. Oh, God. Heck no. There's no way. Oh, my God. There's no way. Well, I don't know. Where there's a will, there's a way, I guess. Stop it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, we're not in a good position right now. We need to really, like... It's like we're in the middle of a canyon carved out of the side of a mountain in a multi-million dollar supercar. We need to go home and rethink our lives, I think. Or really, just the driver of said supercar. Not y'all. Y'all are just watching me be... Well, uh, be silly with a supercar, effectively. I might need to go home and rethink my life decisions that got me to this this spot right here, but actually, I think we might be okay. I know this path. This path has worked for me in the past, I think. There's a lot of I think in there, but uh... Oh! I think only got me so far. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that, that I think only got me so far, people. Oh, boy. Oh, this is not a good spot. We are not in a good way here. Dude, we're so stuck. Oh, my God. We're so stuck. Stop it. Come on. I just want to see if you'll survive one more jump. Please. Humor me. Go away, Tony. Oh, my God. He wants me to buy... Ah! He wants me to buy nightclub so bad. And if you could just not, like, do that thing, that would be great. Like, thing where you roll over and crash and then get into an area that, like, we really shouldn't be. And then really just get destroyed even further. And, uh, oh, this is not... Oh, it's really not going well. Oh, it's so not going well. Stop it! Stop it, you stupid idiot! Oh my god, we're in a bad way. Oh, we're in a bad position. Oh my god, we're in a bad position. We're gonna do a backflip. We're gonna do a backflip. Oh my god, we did a twisting backflip. And we landed on our wheels and kept going. I will take that as a win. So, without any further ado, um... The, uh, the... The Thrax is way better off-road than it has any position being. And if you guys enjoyed watching me take it to lengths that it really shouldn't be, make sure to hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe for more. And I will see y'all next time. Talk to you guys later.